Hello there. My name is Susanna Boyd and I'm one of the co-authors of A New Focus on British Social History. And today I wanted to just talk to you a little bit about um, one of our characters who appears in this book. Um, her name is Ellen Wilkinson. She appears on page 36. And given that it is International Women's Day very soon and also Women's History Month, I feel it's really important to tell you a little bit about why she is so inspirational. So if I open up the book here, you can see a lovely picture of her just in the margins. So this is Ellen Wilkinson and she was only the 10th female MP in Parliament and um, quite obviously you know, surprising to us now that you could have had so few but certainly obviously if you remember your 20th century um, it's not until 1918 that women get the vote and only then it's uh, women who are over 30 and who also have a property qualification um, and it's not until 1928 that women get the equal right to vote with men so women uh, over 21 can vote alongside men as well so it takes a little while for women obviously to get Get into Parliament. Um, so she is, as I said, the 10th female MP in uh, Parliament and also she is the fourth uh, female Labour MP. Now she's really interesting and I feel really inspirational as well to many of us because um, she grew up in Manchester and she grew up in quite a poor household so she really knew what ordinary people's lives were like and this is something that really stayed with her for the whole of her life. Um, she's a woman who I think really impressively gets into Parliament for exactly the right reason. She wants to help people, she wants to give people a better life um, and she never seems to wave from that she you know makes a number of changes during her life and um, but she never gives up on that essential vision so um also very close to my heart um as a history teacher she studies history at the university of manchester um and that means that very much she seems to understand people people is very much what she's interested in um she does very much have this social justice focus as well she's not afraid to be an outspoken woman um on many many issues so she criticises the government, for example, um, on the treatment of Irish people as well by the British government. Um, she's also not afraid in the 1930s um, to call out um, Adolf Hitler and his cruelty towards people in the country. And in the 1930s, we often forget um, that when Hitler became chancellor, um, many people in Britain were actually quite sympathetic to him. Certainly there had been a sense that the Treaty of Versailles um, in 1919 had been very unfair to people um, in Germany. And therefore, you know, quite a few in the British government were quite sympathetic um, towards Adolf Hitler. However, Ellen Wilkinson was um, not going to put up with any of that. She believed very strongly that um, he wasn't uh, he wasn't right. Uh, for people and that he would uh, create a whole load of uh, division and suffering and obviously in that you know with our lovely hindsight we know she was absolutely right but she had to stand up um, when many people in the press and in parliament and even in the royal family were quite supportive of Hitler and um, what he was doing for Germany as well in the 1930s. And um, the other reason she uh, was very, very uh, famous in the 1930s was she actually took part in the Jarrow March or the Jarrow Crusade. And um, when many people who had lost their jobs in the shipyards um, marched to protest um, for the lack of jobs. Um, now, the really interesting thing with this is, of course, it was a sort of famous failure at the time. And so it was often quite derided um, that she'd taken part in this. However, uh, you know, again, with the benefit of hindsight, historians have realised that this played quite a big part in changing attitudes in government so that the post-war government was able to put in far more of its social security plans, particularly for those with unemployment, but also those um, particularly in poor housing as well. Um, during the Second World War, um, Ellen Wilkinson was also in charge uh, very much of looking after people who had lost their houses um, during the bombings as well, particularly in the Blitz, but also being concerned um, in other areas of the country as well. And she actually became known, uh, nicknamed as the Shelter Queen because she was so keen to make sure that people had somewhere to stay, somewhere to live, um, and also to make sure that they had plenty of hot meals. Meals. And this real sort of sense for social justice continued right until the end of her life. She actually um, died in 1947, uh, which was two years after she became education secretary um, as well. And again, as a history teacher, not only did she study history at degree level, but she also you know, cared about education. Um, and the wonderful thing again was yeah, that sense of social justice. So she ensured that um, 
you know, children were able to have milk um, in schools as well, obviously to help with healthy teeth and bones. Um, but also she was very concerned about making sure that um, poor children receive uh, meals um, as well so that they could concentrate on their education and make the most of it. So I think she's a really inspirational figure, this, this amazing woman who decides to um, never, never give up on her values for social justice, fighting the good fight and making sure that everybody's welfare is taken care of as well. So I think she's a fabulous figure to celebrate during Women's History Month. Thank you. <laughs>